you are consciously thinking about a new way forward in life so that you feel less betrayed or stabbed in the back, right? And you're able to move on with your plans with these this three of wands. So the outside influences will be against you. The people that are used to you the way you are or are used to getting over on you, beloved human, they're not going to like that. They're going Hello, greetings, beloved human. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. We are going to do your Monday Try Daily Tarot. I'm super excited. I've already blessed my decks of cards. We're going to go ahead and get started. How are you? Did you check out your Try Daily Tarot, tarot readings last week? Try Daily is three times a week, in case you were wondering. Mondays. So that's the beginning of our week. Wednesdays, it's hump day. And Fridays, we've made it to the weekend. So welcome to Monday, March 18th for your Tri Daily Tarot, beloved human. I will link the playlist in the cards above as well as the, the description below. We're going to use a single oracle card and get clarification with our tarot. All right, let's see. Spirit, what do you need the beloved humans to know today? This is the Spirit Animal Oracle, and we have Armadillo Spirit. Set healthy boundaries, all right? Beloved human, we have to be sure to set healthy boundaries. When we have healthy boundaries, we are able, we are better able to live a life of freedom, to live more um, expressively. We're better able to communicate our boundaries so that others can understand where we stand. Sometimes it's thought that if we are setting boundaries, we have that hard armor, that that protective um, shield around us. And with the armadillo showing up for you, beloved human, that's absolutely true. It is necessary to have some sort of protection for ourselves, right? All right, let's get some clarification with the tarot. Spirit, do tell. What do we need to know for the day ahead of us? I'm going to do, I'm thinking of uh, for us today and likely the rest of this week, we're going to do the Celtic cross essentially. So this is you beloved human here presently setting healthy boundaries. I'm so proud of you. Stand your ground. All right. And then we have, what is the? issue or the problem your conscious mind your subconscious mind past present right what's influencing you your this is your power your influence for yourself then here's your external influences Hopes or fears and final outcome. I will bring these down into view. We will get clarifiers if we need to. I'm going to go ahead and get these lined up a lot better. So, All right. So here you are, beautiful, beloved human, setting boundaries. And what the issue is that I feel that's coming up, the problem You've been stabbed in the back one too many times. And Spirit is telling you, you must set your boundaries. You have, you have a hard time setting boundaries and keeping them is what I'm understanding. This is what I'm feeling for you, beautiful human. You're having... And you might even have an easy time setting the boundary, but for sure what I'm feeling is... Your issue is holding that boundary and you're letting people 
cross the line with you all too often and you're the one that's getting hurt, right? You're the one that is left in ruins because you don't hold your boundaries. And if you let someone cross the line with you, therefore you're not even respecting your own boundaries. And we want better for you, beloved human. So in the past, it seems like what I'm feeling is there was an issue of you holding your boundaries and holding the line when it came to money. This is what I'm feeling. You would say, okay, I will loan you this money. It's due by this time. And then when that due date comes and goes, you don't say anything. You kind of let this person slide and they're like owing you money a whole year later. And that has been an issue for you in the past. So subconsciously, you're trying to make plans and you are, you're owed a lot of money and your plans are on hold. You're just, you you can't even come aboard yet. You can't even take your, your, uh, your cruise because you don't have the money you need subconsciously you know that what is owed to you by more than one person is holding you up from moving forward with your plans in life and and that's the subconscious of it all for you and consciously consciously this is this is interesting You know that you need a new beginning. You know that you need to do things differently with people in your life, right? You know this consciously. This is at the forefront of your mind. So you are looking for a new beginning, a new way of being. Um, you do want to continue to be supportive of people, but also supportive of yourself by setting boundaries and holding that line. Uh, so that you're not overwhelmed and you're not left in pieces and left to ruins and not being able to move forward with the plans that you have for your life. And here, what is very near future for you, we have the King of Swords. You do have to stand in your power. You do have to take your power back. By, and the way you do that is by creating those boundaries, beloved human. You create the boundary, but so much more importantly, you must hold the boundary. You must respect your own boundary in order for others to respect it. Anytime you let someone slide, you're disrespecting your own boundary and you're not standing in your own authentic, intelligent power anymore at that point, right? So in the near future, you can come back to that. <clears throat> and here, here it is. This is this is saying to you, beloved human, what I'm feeling is you have to walk away from the old way of of the old way of doing business, the old way of allowing boundaries to be crossed and disrespected. Right? You have to walk away from that, is what we're getting. This is the eight of cups. I cannot get this to focus. 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 So what's happening is spirit is telling you it's time to walk away from that type of disappointment to take your power back by no longer entertaining boundary breakers. You won't be a boundary breaker of your own, right? You're going to take your power back. You have you have the heart to do so with the page of cups. You have the want to do so. You are consciously thinking about a new way forward in life so that you feel less betrayed or stabbed in the back, right? And you're able to move on with your plans with these this three of wands. So the outside influences will be against you. The people that are used to you the way you are or are used to getting over on you, beloved human, they're not going to like that. They're going to, they want to um, 
figuratively fight back. They don't want to, to have a new you because the old you is how they are over able to get over. The old you is who they are able to use, right? So these external forces, the people around you are not going to like the new you and that's okay. You can get through this conflict, right? There's a change in conflict. You have to go through the hard things <clears throat> in order to get to the great things, right? And then... <clears throat> So hopes and, and fears, hopes or fears is what this King of Wands is showing you, beloved human. This is your hope to be in true leadership and creation of the life you desire. And it all starts with setting boundaries. It all starts with setting healthy boundaries, okay? This is a new beginning for you. This is you coming back after after going through the war, after warring with yourself about keeping your own boundaries, after showing other people how to treat you, you come into your true power. That is your hope and it is going to happen for you. Here is your final outcome, the possible final outcome for you should you start at the beginning of creating and setting healthy boundaries your outcome is nine of pentacles this is exactly where you want to be because see here in your past you're loaning money that you really couldn't afford to give away because that's what my grandmother taught me if you cannot afford to give it to someone don't loan it to them because more than likely it's going to be an issue and you're going to have problems retrieving the money they owe you. So you come from a past of being disappointed, betrayed, uh, agreements not kept. And here's your outcome. The nine of pentacles. This is beautiful. This is luxury. This is um, the independence. This is what your hard work, determination, and fighting for yourself. This is where it gets you, beloved human. I'm excited for you. Start at square one. Set and hold healthy boundaries so that you can get to the life that you desire. And, and you learn your lesson. <laughs> You're not loaning anyone money. But if you can afford to give it to them, you will. I believe that about you with a heart like yours. Beloved human, thank you so much. If you made it to the end of the video, this was absolutely absolutely for you. I hope it has resonated with you deeply and helps you and is useful to you during the start of your week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.